hello guys uh, welcome back to learn in a nutshell so today i have come up with another video wherein i will be talking about why uh, you have to always i mean why i prefer uh, you no know, postman collection over impex tool and why you have to always use postman collection you know uh, you know for testing purpose and uh, why impex tool is not that great i'll be talking about that um uh, so first thing is uh, postman collection you can surely download from their uh, uh, you know uh, their github page you can just search it in the google and you'll get it and uh, next thing is um, once it is imported i've already explained like how to import it in the previous video and so you can just uh, refer that to see how to import and uh, you know consume apis here i'll be talking about why postman collection is better so first thing is um, of course uh, it has the environment and the collections available uh collections can be you know segregated uh, you know into their uh, functionality what they fun what the functionality of that api is so that is one thing next thing is environment variable you can set the initial values for the environment variable here uh, for example the host url the auth url can be set here and if you go to collections and if you go to authorization this is the first step you have to you know uh, generate a token for uh, using any consuming any apis in commerce tool commerce tool so first thing is um, you can just provide the auth url here next time if you want to you know use a different url you don't have to change every time you know in every uh, endpoints in this particular uh, collections you can just change it in this particular place in this one place you can change and it will be you know uh, reflected everywhere so that is one benefit uh, for all the environment variable so if you hover on this you'll see which is the auth url that is being used uh, if you are, if there are multiple uh, environment you can select which environment to use here you know you can uh, create multiple environment variable for different environments for if you have a dev environment different dev environment different qa environment different production environment you can set it here and uh, while testing you can test based on that environment you can select it over here and uh, you can use it and uh, once the token is generated it gets saved uh, in the environment so if you see here pjv is saved here um, pjv is over here so how this is happening this is happening with the help of this test functionality uh they have written uh, commerce tool people have written their own uh, code over here uh, you know for uh, 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 extracting the access token and uh, setting it in the environment using this and uh, accessing the project key and uh, they have uh, you no know, there are two things here project and uh, lion ct there is a project key lion ct so they are extracting the first part and putting it inside uh, the project key environment variable so so what happens here is i don't have to so if you go to any endpoint here in the authorization authorization section you'll have to provide the uh, access, uh, the token access token so you don't have to provide separately for each endpoint you can just uh, call the um, uh, the particular variable environment variable and uh, it will be it will give you the access to on um, that particular uh, endpoint so suppose if i use this one this has a authorization token for uh, this has a access token and uh, this is for categories i'll query these categories so when i uh, query this i'll get this i don't have to you know, explicitly uh, or manually provide the access token uh, same thing for all the endpoints and uh, how this is happening i've already told with the help of this uh, test codes which they have written it gets saved in the environment and um, if you see here it gets saved here and um, also one more thing is uh, the authorization for this access token is the username and password again here here it is um, the um, the environment variable being used if you hover you will see what is a client id and client secret again it's coming from um, the environment variable set here so if you see here this is a client id this is a client secret 
so this is the um, no best use of uh, postman this is how, how how good you can no make use of postman suppose if you go to impex tool not sure if i have opened the impex tool uh, let me open the impex tool if you go to impex tool and go to the api playground here also they are promoting the postman collection itself by the way and uh, here again uh here you don't have to generate the token by default uh, they will generate it so here you can directly you know um uh, call the endpoints but the problem is if you are creating a cart query uh, and query create i'll have to provide the currency so if i provide uh, currency has We'll have to provide the JSON in uh, you know, a payload. Currency, and let me provide it as euro. Now, if I, I hope it works. So when I run this, it creates. But the problem is, like every time we'll have to copy this ID and uh, you know, pass it to update, update the um. uh what to say update the cart like if you want to add the line item or anything you'll have to keep on passing the resource id here it gets saved um but uh, the problem is next time when you change something and uh, come back here it will be a different resource id here so in that way it will be difficult to you know access this one so what i would suggest you all to use is postman collection uh and you know make use of a uh, postman collection to the best you know whatever uh, you can uh, play around with this postman collection you do it in the postman itself uh, don't uh, go to that impex to uh, in in case if you are uh, having finding difficult to po use postman collection then you can go to you know uh, the impex tool for a quick uh, view of something or some uh, like if you want to view quickly some product query if you want to you know view the product um uh, a particular product then you can quickly you make use of impex tool but uh, if you are making use of the full functionality of a commerce tool then uh, postman collection is the best so uh, i hope you all understood this one and uh, i hope you all understood how good postman is so yeah make use of postman uh, as much as possible and uh, uh please do you know uh, let your friends know about this and uh, please uh, inform them like all the functionality of this postman and let them also start using this postman and uh, please do hit this like button if you liked it and uh, if you have any queries post in the comment section uh, do subscribe guys and uh, it means a lot if you subscribe and also you know share with your friends that's all for today guys hope you enjoyed thank you so much bye